Okay, hey, what up YouTube? I'm sorry I have not literally came on here in a long time. We've been having we've been going through a lot. Last time you seen us we were in Selma on the way back to Tennessee. So we're here in Tennessee and we finally got our own place. We have a four bedroom, four bedroom, two bath, and we only pay fourteen hundred dollars a month. We got into a program through uh, my children's school and my kids are making friends. I'm so excited. Okay, but my kids and, well, Ryan and Robert are on the phone and they're playing uh, Box Roots. I don't know if you guys know that, but I don't know what Box Roots is, but my boys do. And Robert has made friends in school. So he's playing blocks with a friend. This is the first time Robin has ever, ever made a friend. He's literally made a friend like, like he's talked about it before. I'm sorry I'm being extremely low, but he's made, um, he's made um, friends before or whatnot, but um, he's finally talking to someone on the phone. He's actually enjoying himself. He's having fun. So I'm gonna sneak in and you guys are going to see but here's our apartment i'll show you the front end of it it's like completely not furnished we just moved in the fourth fourth or fifth okay um the beginning of may so we don't have any furniture but i'll show you just a little bit we have an air mattress here and a tv there that is just the living room. Uh, let's see if I can turn the light and get you guys tuned in. Okay. This is the living room. This is the kitchen behind me. Um, they have a washer and dryer connection. It's all about dirty clothes. We have a lot. Don't judge me. But it'll be fun. And this is the walk-through kitchen. Literally the walk-through kitchen. And my daughter's room is here. She has double doors. This is YouTube, say hi YouTube. She still does not like YouTube. So um, that is my daughter. I have to close both of her doors. She has two doors. She has the bay doors. Well, I don't think I got bay doors, but that's my daughter's room. And that is the freaking front door. Okay. And this is the long hallway. We get the trash down there at the end of the hallway. But um, this is the first bathroom. Okay, this is my kids' bathroom. Their room, their bathroom is completely filthy. I have not yet to clean this up. Bathroom. And they have the same uh, toilets at the hotel. So, but check me out. Look at me. I am completely fat. I will be literally talking about a YouTube video. I mean, getting slim. Because look at all this, this is crazy. But I have all this to lose. Like I have so much to lose, you know what I'm saying? But um, that's the bathroom. This is Ryan's room. He doesn't have any light there, but um, this is his room. For the dirty, that is the utility closet. It has two rooms and a bathroom. And this is my boy. Then my boys are sitting in. My boys are sitting in the room. I can't go. I can't go. I'm not standing. I'm not standing. I'm already at. I love that yellow house. I love that yellow house. No, I didn't get to go into my freaking immortal form. Dang it. Will you die? Will you have an immortal form? They are playing blocks. Wait, you have an immortal form? No, he's not here. Shanks. Olivia, how many people are I have a dream set. Okay, this is my room. I have been sleeping inside of 
the living room because I just got a TV and I was excited about having a TV. And um, I was excited about having a TV. And by me having a TV, I had to catch up on my latest shows on Netflix and Peacock and every other channel. But this is my room. I don't know if you can see it. It's like really dark in here. They don't have any um, like headlights. I have to buy lamps. And um, so none of the rooms have uh, like headlights except my closet. But I'm um, in the hallway and the kitchen and the laundry area and the bathrooms. That's it. No other headlights in the rooms or they don't have ceiling fans. So that was kind of a bummer. But um, you saw, you guys saw where we were in Selma. We were literally slumming it. But um, this is so much better. But this is my room. My Mother's Day uh, balloons, but there's my window and I'm gonna show you my our view from our apartment in a minute. Just give me a second. This is my closet. Okay, my closet is kind of a mess. That's my closet. And then you enter into my bathroom. Remember, I am a woman. I am a woman and I have so much hair care products but prime example this is my I have a hair care products here that is a hair care product container like I have locks but I am still learning how to maintain my locks so this is my bathroom look at my body it's just like ridiculous This is my double fat. This is like ridiculous. It really is. <laughs> it's really ridiculous. It really, really is. Like, seriously. That is just crazy, 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 crazy. Like, seriously. Fat. I am so tired. I literally, look at that fat, like it literally hanging. Like it's just like everywhere. But um, I literally, I started working about two months ago, uh, about less than, less than two months ago, about a month and a half ago. And um, I started, um, started working and I started at working at this company called Toast. If you ever in the Antioch area, if you're ever in, if you're ever in the Nashville area, check out um, Toast. It is a company that I don't know if you if when you go to restaurants and you see the tablet on the table. Okay, I have the towel. Well, side note, I have the towel there because I don't have a shower curtain, but I have to take a shower, so no shower curtain, no shower rod. But I have a towel there to step on, so like it, like the floor doesn't, get, you know, doesn't get um, completely soaking wet. But um, but back to what I was saying, if you're ever in the Nashville area and you are near Antioch, check out a company named Toast. They make the like tablets when you go to a restaurant and you order from the tablet on um, the um, table. They make that tablet. They also make the card readers. They also make the cash registers. They make so many other things, but it, it is a wonderful company. It's the best company I've ever worked for in my life, but that was in Antioch. I moved to Fairview, no, I, I said no. I moved to Fairview, Tennessee. So Toast, was, Toast is about an hour drive for me without traffic. And um, it's about, it's a, about two hours with traffic so that was a no-go for me and then my car broke down so i no longer have transportation but thank god um i have my children are in school and i have been blessed with so many opportunities ever since i put my children in school i wish i had done it i'd done it sooner you guys seen the, our journey and my kids weren't in school and um but thank goodness a uh, wonderful update they are in school and they are excelling they are still making a's and b's well robert's making a's and b's ryan is making threes he's making like you know like really good um 
like really good like he's not feeling anything and Rebecca's still making AIDS of course but um I'm so proud of my children because they were out of school since August of last year and they joined I mean like they started going they started going to school about four months ago I want to say I don't even think it was it's been that long I think it's been about through maybe two or three months so about two or three months ago they literally joined school and they have literally been excelling it's literally I like I, I I can't say anything else about what my children are doing they are literally exceeding all expectations because like if it was me when like if I was out of school for that long um test scores would have been downhill because I know during COVID um when they had to do like the um in-home learning my boys their test scores went down so far and um like my 11 well my 12 year old now he went from making b's and c's and sometimes a's to making c's and d's every once in a while a b but now he is literally back at the a and b mark so um um, I'm just extremely stoked about it. But hair care products. Hair care products. So, um, but yeah, they're excelling. And, um, but like I said, if you're in the Nashville area, if you need a job and you're in Antioch or either or even Nashville, check out a company called Toast. They are, it's a wonderful company. They give great benefits. They have uh, mental days off or whatnot. Um, and it's, it's an amazing company. It's like the best company I ever worked for. But um, yes, that, that is that. And this is the apartment tour. Um, I wish I could show you guys more as of right now. But tomorrow I will definitely give you a full... Are we trying to kill? Like, a full... Oh, sorry. I will definitely give you a full... You having fun? Yes, ma'am. You know, we are actually training at Fashion City. But since I'm at Second City, I actually don't. I actually train at the graveyard. But yes, um, tomorrow I'll give you a full detour. I've been like literally so busy. I've been working at a company called Lasco. I don't know if you if you know Lasco, you know they make the fans um, that people put in there. <laughs> they make the fans. I forgot to go. Then they make the fans that you put in, like people put in their homes or whatnot. It is an exhausting company. I can't stand it. But as of now, I'm going to work it. And, um, but as of now, I'm going to work it. And, um, I'm going to do it. It's fine. But, um, I just got approved for Lyft. So I'll be getting my car. Like when I tell you, Nashville is freaking amazing. They're amazing. Um, when I got here, we didn't have hardly anything, as you guys seen, several, several times. But, um, like, several times you guys seen it. And, um, but, um, once I put them in school, like, I talked to the right people. And they found out our situation. And they went from literally getting my kids uh, clothes to wear for school. I mean, like, just not every day. Like, they came. Like, I had the people um, from the school coming over with, or the, not even the people, um, the counselor from the school. She came over with, like, when I tell you, she um, had her whole trunk full of clothes, like, brand new clothes, clothes that came from Goodwill and, like, semi used clothes. But everything was clean and everything is washed. And, and it was just amazing, like brand new clothes, brand new tags, brand new, you know, it was so many brand new clothes. And they literally just showed up and showed the heck out. It's literally insane. And then once I got in contact with her, she was, tell excuse me, once I got a job, she was like, um, well, you know, since you have a job, um, will you be interested in moving to uh, would you, are, um, are you still looking for a place? I'm like, for sure I am, you know? I'm paying almost $4,000 a month to stay in a, ho in a hotel here in uh, Tennessee. Well, I was in Brentwood. But Brentwood is, like, extremely expensive. But Brentwood has, the like, the best schools. 
it's called Williamson County. Williamson County has like the best schools here in Tennessee. So if you ever move to Tennessee and you have children, Williamson County is the place to be. Like amazing schools, amazing. I'm not even done tell you, telling you what I have to tell you. But um, like I said, um, she came over with the clothes. And then when she came over with the clothes, she also came over with gift cards for the grocery store and McDonald's. Um, but like it was so freaking amazing because I didn't even ask for her because she asked me over the phone did I need, did I need food and I'm like no you know we get stamps or whatnot so um we're uh, we're okay with that or whatever but they still bought them anyways and um but anyways um she was like are you still looking for places and I'm like yeah because and then she and then I was like because when I talked to her that one time she was telling me um uh, I was telling her that I had a job interview the next day or whatnot and then a crazy my car had broke down and um my car had broke down and um my ex-boyfriend was trying to fix it and trying to get it done and it's just like it was just like hell and um and um he finally got it fixed just a little bit or whatnot like he had to charge it but yeah he finally got it fixed or whatnot and then um i got to go to my job but like it was just hell we had to sleep in the car we had to you know we had to sleep in the car we had to eat fast food the whole time we slept in the car and it was just like like i said if you know the story if you know the story if you know if you've been on my youtube channel you literally know the story of we slept in the car in alabama and then once we got here even though we were in the hotel and but like money was low there was no money coming in and my car was like on the fritz and um things was just happening but um um um, um but anyways she was like once i got a job she, i mean once she found out i did i had um a job interview she called me the next day and asked me how the job interview go and i'm like oh it's amazing when amazing or whatnot i have to call um they're gonna call me back um within the next couple of days to let me know if i got the job they called me back later on that day and let me know that i had the job and then um i talked to her she called me the next day like literally she was so consistent it's literally ridiculous like i mean i love it but um she called me back the next day and she was like um so hey carmelita how'd the job whenever you go and i was like i got it and you know and i start tomorrow and next y and z next y and z and then um and i was and then i was telling her about my car it was messing up and x y and z and then that you know um we needed help i mean i didn't even say we needed help i said um we we have literally stepped in a car because my ex-boyfriend he had um I said my ex-boyfriend, he has he's a, a diamond member at Hilton. So he got so he so he got a we ended up getting a hotel room at the Hilton that night or the night after. And um and um um we got we stayed there for we stayed there for that one night and um but it was like I think he paid like pennies on a dollar. I think it was like uh about 15 maybe 20 bucks or whatnot but um we got to stay there so but before that yeah before that night we slept in the car and then he got a ho then we got a hotel room and then that following night after we got the hotel room we slept in the hotel room that following night we slept back in the car and like bear in mind we had so much stuff and everything was just like so compact and everyone was so cramped and we had to get rid of more stuff like we said after we had that um morning we had left the hilton um we had to downsize we had to take we had to get rid of more things because it was just so much and we the only had it's only one car and like my kids we were all sleeping in the car and my kids were so cramped and i was so cramped and my ex-boyfriend was so cramped so we had to get rid of some of the stuff so we got rid of some of that stuff and then um we headed back to brentwood and um and then um I she reached me she um she gave me the information to another woman here Lori when I tell you this lady is God sent like she is God sent like and I'm so serious when I say that she is God sent 
the moment I spoke to her, I just told her about my situation. But bear in mind, at that time, I was in, um, I was at work. And but bear in mind, that night before that, I slept in the car. The night before that, we slept in the car. And um, and I was going, I was going to work, and my legs were like swollen. I don't know, I have this like thing, and my when I when, if I sleep sitting up, my legs swell up really bad. And um, and I, it's it, it pains me to walk. But never mind that. Um, but I talked to her, and then um, she was like, "So how, how's it going, or whatever?" And I'm like, um, "I'm at work now, and I stays my first day." And um, and then she was just asking me questions and questions or whatever. And I don't know how we got on to no. Um, she was like asking me where was I staying, and I was like, um, "Well, we're sleeping in our car, and where we're sleeping in my car, and um, life, you know, I said it's just kind of rough right now." And she's like, "No." that can't happen and she's like when i say she's god sent she's god sent like god put her here to help and it's just amazing i like i'm just so pleased that she fell into our laps or we fell into her laps but um she's like that can't happen and literally that night that day like as soon as i got off the phone with her she scheduled me three days at a hotel and then um i didn't i, I didn't get paid I wasn't gonna get paid for like another week or two, so she scheduled she scheduled me more days. Like we stayed, like each time it it was about to run out because each time we was about each time it was about to run out, she scheduled me more days. So um, she helped us out for about two weeks, literally two weeks, and we didn't have to pay anything. We didn't have to pay not a dime. And um, like I said, she's just amazing, just amazing woman. And then um, she was, and then she went into the in the detail of how much I was getting paid and how much, you know, everything like that. And I started to explain to her, and I was like, she was like, well, you know, we have, I have this um, this contact in Fairview, and um, are you open to moving to Fairview? And I'm like, I don't, I don't even know what that is, but of course I am. You know, I said I'm paying almost four thousand dollars a month to stay here. Cause bear in mind, like I spent most of my income tax on staying at the hotel, and then my ex-boyfriend was helping out here and there whenever he could or whatnot. But um, um, I was like, I spent uh, like a, a good majority of my income tax on staying at the hotel, and then, like I said, my ex-boyfriend was helping out here and there, and then once I started working, um, I think I paid like a week, I think. Yeah, I paid a week at the hotel. And then, um, but yeah, but um, she told me, she was like, oh, oh, we have this, um, I have this contact in Fairview. And um, and if you're open to it, I can, we can, we can get, we can get the application done and we can get you in there. Cause she's like really looking for people now. And I was like, okay, I was like, that sounds wonderful. And then she was like, well, if you can get here where I'm at. And I'm like, um, Miss Lori, I said, my car is like, you know, it's on the fritz and it's not working. I wouldn't X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and Z. And then she was telling me about, um, she was like, I can fill it out for you. And she filled out an application and then, but, um, by the time she got to the apartment complex, I had to be there because I also had to sign, you know, once you get to an apartment complex, you have to sign documentation and everything else like that. And then um, you have to show, you know, yeah. But um, I had to come to Fairview and it was about 35 minutes from when we were actually staying in Brentwood. And I forgot to say that the reason why we stand with the only reason why we were staying in Brentwood because the schools were like amazing. There are, they are amazing in Brentwood. And, um, but anyways, um, it took about 35 minutes to get here. And bear in mind, I had to work that day. So I had to hurry. I had to rush here, rush to the complex, and then rush back to work. So, um, but like, she was on it. She was on it like crazy. And um, talking to her, I got to partner with another company. And I can't remember the name for the life of me, but I'm talking to. But but my worker there, name is Miss Angela. And um, her company partners with um, it's GraceWorks. Like it's like like if you ever come to Tennessee and you like really need help, contact a company called GraceWorks. GraceWorks, they are amazing. Like when I tell you they are amazing, they are amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you. But um, uh, Miss Angela Company, she works for she works. They partner with GraceWorks, and um, like my like right now, my car's on the fritz, and. 
they have given me they have actually taken my car because like it was a whole issue with with the mechanic that my car was at it was just a whole issue it was just insane but um he was trying to take advantage of a woman but um but anyways um he but um they told they had um they paid for my car to leave that shop because the guy did work on my car that I didn't never ask for. I asked him to diagnose the problem and that was it. So he, but he actually started to do work on my car. I didn't need the work done. I didn't I just, it was just asking for, um, like I said, a diagnosis. But, um, um, they paid for the work to get done at that mechanic. And then, um, and then we got to, we got it towed across town or drove it, drove it across town. And then, um, now it's at another company called Cody's Automotives. Cody's Automotives, they do a whole lot of charity work and they, um, they partner with different uh, companies here in Nashville and, um, the Tennessee area. Uh, for people who need, you don't need the help or whatnot. I didn't even know. I didn't even know a place like this ever existed. But anyways, um, they're there, and um, come to find out, the work on my car is going to be like, like thirty five hundred dollars or whatever to get fixed. I don't have that type of money right now. Um, but um, um, and then my car, and then. The company that partnered with Grace, like I said, I wish I could remember the name of the company, but I do not remember. If I remember it, I will post it in my next video. But um, that that company, they helped, they paid for the car to get out of the of that tow yard, and then on to Cody, and then on to Cody's tow yard, and um, and then also, and then also, um, what was that Toronto? I can't remember what was I trying to say. Um, they paid for it to get onto Cody's tow yard. And then once it got onto to Cody's tow yard. Okay, this is my view. You can't really see a star outside, but it's nothing but trees. Nothing, nothing, nothing but trees. But um, anyways, um, they paid to get it to Cody's tow yard. But um, to get the problem fixed, it's going to be like $3,200. I don't have that type of money. But they would have paid it, but the but my car has uh, engine damage. Um, yeah, engine damage, and um, the amount of the the amount of engine damage, my car is valued at a, at an extremely low price. So they wasn't able to cover that. But Monday, Monday, um, we get to go Monday. I get to go car shopping and Monday there that same company is going to help me with a deposit if not a deposit they're gonna help me with a couple months of rent but yes yeah, so Monday um, I get to go look for cars and they're going to help they're going to help with three months of uh, payments on that car and in anywhere else they can help. Um, I work in Franklin and I live about 25 minutes to 35 minutes from Franklin. And they've helped me with lift cards. Um, just because they're they're all about trying to get that woman or get that person working. Like keep like once if they have a job, they just want to keep you working. Like that's their whole point. I mean that's their whole model of their uh group or whatnot but um like i said if you're ever here in nashville if you ever here in franklin if you ever here in the tennessee area and you need help and you have children they will help you when i left charlotte i came from an extremely horrible situation like it was extremely horrible it was you know on it was just uncool. It wasn't a good situation from my kids and I. And, um, <sighs> thank God, um, the ex is gone and my kids and I are getting back to life, you know?
we're getting back to life and we are getting back to um civilization you know and um the apartment like i said it's it's just amazing i'm gonna take you another tour tomorrow when it's more light in here um i literally i had to like i said i had to leave the, i had to leave the other job and come to the job I had to leave the other job and come to the job that I'm at now. And the job that I'm at now, I hate so much. But it's a third shift position. And it pays. It pays. But um, um, I had to start all over, basically. So I had to work almost two. I had to work two weeks in order to get another paycheck. So, um, And then the company, Graceworks, they're going to help me pay my rent for this month. So I'm just ecstatic about that. I'm just like extremely. It's uh, a buck. <coughs> it's a centipede. <clears throat> I'm a city girl. And I'm really not used to freaking bugs. But I love nature. So I'm going to do I'm going to get used to it. I'm going to get used to it. Because I'm going to be here for a while. Because after this step. I was talking to Miss Lori. After this step. she's gonna They're going to help me. Um, to start the house. The home buying process. So within two years of me staying here, once I leave, once we leave here, we're going to go into our own home. So I'm extremely excited. Um, I'm just extremely excited. And then I just recently got accepted to a job lift. So now I went from getting the lifts, uh, the vouchers for lift. And now I'm getting to drive for lift. So I'm extremely excited about excited about that. But um, as of now, this is where we are. This is where we are. And I will give you more information tomorrow. And I am going to start posting on a regular basis. Um, it's a lot though because like I said, I work third shift as of now. But once the end of the month comes, beginning of the following month, I'm going to leave the third shift job because I can no longer do it because it is taking a toll on me and my children's well-being and then the summertime is coming so that wouldn't be healthy for them because they will miss out on so many different programs here in Fairview so um we're gonna I'm gonna change that but um I will talk to you guys later um if you like the video uh leave me a comment or if you didn't like it leave me a comment and let me know what I can change and if you want to know more information, because I've been gone for a while, I've been gone for about four months because we have literally been going through shit. I mean, crap. Sorry for the language. But um, let me know if you want to know more and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.